Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today we're going to be doing a continuation of tutorial on a video I did yesterday. Um, we're going to go ahead and open that up. It's the knife blade that I created. Um, a subscriber had pointed out that uh, on the blended edge of the knife, um, he asked if uh, 3D printers can recognize a surface. And um, I went back and realized that the knife blade, this, uh, these edges here, I use the blend tool, but what they, what I didn't realize is that they, they come out as surfaces. I didn't even really look up here. So, uh, surfaces have to be converted to a solid model like this here. You see, this is solid. It means that it's solid through and through the surface. These are hollow. So a printer would, would print these, um, this, uh, Creating a knife like this and adding textures to it and using it as a photo is, is fine. But if you want to print this as a 3D model, you have to make sure that it's solid. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so the first thing we got to do is um, I noticed that there's stuff up here that doesn't need to be here. So you got to click on this surface, right mouse click and detach. And then we're going to go ahead and delete this surface here and then this extra one in the middle here you got to get rid of that as well so we'll go to uh, select let's zoom in click on there and hit delete then we have to join these two back up together so we'll go ahead and fill these or actually not fill i'm sorry blend we'll do a blend from here to here hold down control key and then hit the green check okay now we'll control minus now what you have to do is uh, there's still surfaces so you want to go ahead and do control a which selects everything then you want to combine and then um now you and then click the select so now you have a, a knife that's solid so um sorry i didn't point that out in the first tutorial um i had finished the tutorial and i didn't even notice that the i didn't even look up here so um now they're they're now they're solid yeah, you could pretty much blend any any edge to edge together, but if it's a surface, you got to make sure to combine. Uh, select everything, use your combine, and then um, it'll be a solid model. So now this is solid, so we're not going to have any trouble uh, printing this. Um, and you have to do that with uh, any blend any blend that you do uh, to that's part of uh, something else. Like I'll give you an example. We'll do an example here. I don't want this video to be too long, but I don't want it to be too short either. So we'll go ahead and um, let's go ahead and create this. Uh, let's go back to here to uh, top view. Let's do control minus. So if you were going to create a shape like this. And then um, let's go to the 3D mode or the isometric mode, and then we'll pan over. So if you wanted to blend this up into another shape, we'll go ahead and use this shape here as an example. We'll do a copy, paste, control C, control V, and then we'll go to the 3D mode. Let's just move this up and do paste to put back the other one. Now we'll go ahead and spin this. So sometimes the shapes are uh, already, uh, let's go ahead and select that and go fill. And then we'll blend these edges. So, so you blend that edge there, you have a surface. And then you go ahead and check. Okay. And now this, you blend that from there to there, and you add another surface. And then we're going to blend that to that. And you have another surface. And then we'll blend this to here. And then you have another surface. So all these are surfaces. So the only way that you can... Um, make that solid by by doing this we'll go ahead and uh, click let's select all of these 
then come up here to combine. Now it's now it's a solid box. So now this basically made this a solid chunk as opposed to uh, surfaces. So that's how you would have to do that on all your on all your blends. You have to do make make sure that they're solid. You don't if you're just doing a picture like this. If uh, we were just going to do a, a picture of this, it doesn't have to be the geometry doesn't have to be solid. But if you're going to 3D print something, that's got to be solid through and through. Um, when it's a surface, it's just a surface. It's not a. It's hollow basically in the middle. So um, and sometimes you know if you have to break something apart to figure out what's going on with it, you can go ahead and do that. You just detach, and then um, we could move this over farther here, <clears throat> and then we'd have to do the same process. Like we'd have to come up here. Uh, let's let's go ahead and scale this. So we'll go pull. Click on that, we'll click on the scale, and we'll click on a point, and then we'll drag it, make it smaller. And then, sorry about that, the gardeners are here today, so they're making a lot of noise. Okay, so if we want it to blend, let's make sure, let's make this a little bit straighter here. Let's go pull this, grab the red, and we'll just move it over a little bit. Okay, so if you wanted to blend this, these, edges here you could do that now you, you notice up there in the uh, in your tree up here in your structure you're getting a you're getting a the blends are going through but they're creating a surface each time that they you blend something now you spin that around Yeah, um, blending objects together is a great way. Now you notice how this this automatically became a solid. That's because we were we were uh, you know creating it to another solid. So if we didn't have this here, we would have to select everything and do a combined. So, so anyhow, this is a, this is how you would do it. You just select the part and do a combined, and then you would have a just select it and come up here to combine and then you're going to combine it it's going to put all the pieces together and it's going to make it a uh, solid model so um okay so we'll go ahead and um get rid of this box here do a control minus let's go ahead and uh, take this to the isometric view okay that's our um that's our uh, blended knife that uh, we created uh, we went and did the combine and we made it solid I noticed there was a, a little mistake up here there was that that little line that was there if I tried to blend blend that, that together um, with that line in there it wouldn't uh, it would have failed so that's why I detached this piece here and then I got rid of that extra uh, part that was in there and then I re-blended this back together and then I selected everything and I did it combined and now it's a now it's solid geometry. So you gotta make sure that your models are solid geometry before you can uh, before you can print them. This is a, uh, and you can do that with any of your mo models, you, you can do that stuff that you need to do. Like if we wanted to detach this, we could detach this and then we could move it. Let's go ahead and spin this. Go to move, we could grab it, we could pull this out here, and then we could blend the edges back together. But we gotta make sure that it's uh that we're doing it the right way. Like we could go to there and then we could blend these edges. We'll go to there and then do all that all the way around, and then uh, we'd have to combine it back up. But uh, that's how you would do it. Um, sometimes you have to do models that way, especially in Design Spark Mechanical, because um, it's not uh, super easy to do stuff like this any other way. Um, I mean, you could probably draw 
this shape here, this pointed shape, and then you could draw a line like this, and then you could click on that shape and you could do a sweep, but it might have a hard time making that corner. So we'll go ahead and undo. Go back to there. Okay, now the now the model is solid. And you can tell up here in your tree, I wasn't even paying attention when I did the knife model. Up here it needs to be solid. And then if you're creating if you're uh, creating a model and you're not you're doing a no merge, then you have to have you know several solids here. So just make sure that your your whatever you want to print is solid. Um, if you don't, if it's not necessary, if, if you're not, don't plan on printing it, then it's okay if it's not solid, if it's just surfaces. But ideally, you want to create your, you want to turn your surfaces into solids before you do any printing. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of this video. Thanks again for watching.